guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. If you can hear snorting, I feel like I've been saying this in a lot of my videos recently. Lola the dog is like glue. She basically follows me everywhere and she she's kind of loud with her snorts and whatnot. So if you hear like any weird like in the background, it's the dog. Um, but today's Mask Monday is kind of going to be short and sweet because I'm just sharing a very basic mask with you guys that you can actually use a couple different ways. You don't necessarily have to use it as a mask. And it is super affordable. And it is the Freeman Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser. So this is the mask right here. I've actually had this for such a long time. I want to say that I bought this like eight, nine, ten months ago. Um, but I've recently started using it in the last couple of weeks because I have been breaking out a little bit more frequently. Um, I don't think it's from a specific product that I'm currently using because usually when I break out from a product, it's kind of like all over my face. But my breakouts are very concentrated right now, sort of in like this area right here. So it's it's very hormonal. And then also I will get hormonal breakouts on my neck, which is really obnoxious. But so I've been using a lot more clay based masks because it tends to help me clear my breakups up. So I've been using this on my face as well as on my neck. And I've also been using it as a cleanser because a lot of these Freeman masks actually do dual purpose. Another one that I tried a while ago was the apple cider vinegar mask. I will link both of them down below. Um, I believe I got both at Ulta. So shop in store, shop online, whatever. I'll put the information down below. But um, yeah, that one you can also use as a cleanser. And so I do like using this as a cleanser as well. And it basically just works like any other cleanser that you have. Put a little bit in your hands. I like to use this one in the shower because it is just a little bit more messy. Um, and I will just rub it into my skin and it does foam up ever so slightly and it just gives you kind of this like creamy clay, um, slightly foamy cleansing experience. It's really, really nice. Um, and then you just rinse it off like you would any other cleanser. So it's just kind of like a quick purifying type of cleanse in the morning but it's wonderful as a mask as well. This is the type of mask that will dry on your face. I usually leave clay-based masks on no more than 10 minutes. I don't like to let them get completely hard and dry because one, they're dif more difficult to remove, and two, I don't want that much oil removed from my skin. Um, I find that when I use masks, clay-based masks too frequently or I leave them on too long, they will suck out too much oil and then my skin wants to go into like oil production overload again and that's something that I've done a really good job of avoiding by making sure that I'm using lots of moisturizers after a clay based mask like this. Um, but let me tell you what this one does. So this one is specifically designed to absorb oil without overly drying your skin and it is also specifically for um, breakout prone skin. So Manuka honey and just kind of honey in general has some great antibacterial properties to it. Um, Manuka honey is especially sought after because it's supposed to even have more antioxidants and just, you know, it's better for you to consume Manuka honey. <laughs> Um, actually you should probably be consuming a lot of like your local honey that helps with allergies and things like that. But Manuka honey is one of those like really kind of expensive, like sought after honeys that is not only good internally, but also, uh, topically on your skin. So, and then tea tree oil, we all know is something that has those antibacterial antiseptic type properties to help you clear up any breakouts and, um, make sure that your skin is nice and clean. Um, and that it can heal from the breakouts. So let me read you what they say on the back here. Um, Indulge in this delicious treat for your skin with this multi-action clay mask and cleanser. Manuka honey delivers potent healing properties to nourish the skin. Tea tree helps to purify the pores and control oil with its antibacterial properties. Perfect for oily slash breakout prone skin. And the way they tell you to use this is to Put it over a cleansed face if you're going to use it as a mask or if you're using it as a cleanser just 
you know, use it in the shower or at the sink and rub it into your skin. Um, when you are using it as a cleanser, they do tell you to leave it on for like three to five minutes. I don't do that. I just rinse it off immediately. If you are leaving it on as a mask, they do tell you don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Um, just rinse it off with warm water. I do like to use a washcloth to take the mask off. Um, the smell of it is really mild, you guys. It's It kind of just smells like, like a slight honey type fragrance. You can't really smell the tea tree oil in this. Tea tree oil has a very distinct fragrance to it. Um, you can't really smell it in here. Um, but it does have a really nice light honey scent to it. And you guys, for the price, I mean, this is totally worth a try. Um, I, I would say if you're dry, maybe don't try this one. But if you have normal oily combination, extremely oily skin, if you are breakout prone, this might be a really good one to try. If you're dry and breakout prone, maybe for spot treatments, but I wouldn't necessarily use it all over the face. It will it could potentially dry your skin out a little bit because it does have bentonite clay in here and that is something that definitely like will suck any oil that you have in your skin out. So anyway, uh, ingredients here are pretty good. I think for like $4.99 or $5.99, however much these are, they're such a good deal. I will continue to use this one up over the course of the summer and then it's probably one that I'll totally repurchase at the start of next summer. Um, I'll use it as a cleanser once I get to the end of the summer and I'm trying to finish up, finish it up because I don't want to keep a bunch of masks around and it's nice that I can have dual purpose with this one. So anyway, let me know if you've ever tried that particular Freeman mask or what your favorite Freeman mask is because these are all just really great affordable options and um, yeah, they make a lot of great skincare in terms of masks. I've enjoyed a lot of theirs. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and that you are having a safe holiday weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, bye.